Welcome to the Metro West Humane Society. Our shelter is located in Ashland, Massachusetts. MWHS has helped thousands of animals, primarily cats and kittens, since we were founded in 1976. We maintain an active trap, neuter, and release program for feral cats and kittens. Unlike many other TNR programs, we make a determination on each animal before releasing it back to its original location. MWHS is unique among local no-kill cat shelters because we provide a sanctuary for feral cats who cannot be returned to the wild safely due to their health, age, or other factors. We believe that ferals at risk can be rescued, socialized, and eventually adopted. That's why we created our Feral Socialization Program. Let's go into the shelter and meet some of the cats and kittens we've been working with recently. Mel is an 18-month-old male. He was living as a stray in Ashland before he was trapped. When he first came to the shelter, he was frightened and shy, but not aggressive. If a volunteer tried to approach him, he would run to the back of his cage and crouch, trying to make himself as small as possible. After a few weeks, we moved Mel's cage to our adult adoptable room, where the cats roam free once they've settled in. We immediately saw a difference in Mel. Even though he was still in a cage and would not let anyone touch him, he started to play with a wand when we held it out to him. We began opening the door to his cage, gradually opening it wider each day. One day, he surprised everyone by jumping out of his cage and beginning to explore the room and the other cats. Mel decided he especially loved a cat named Stella and would spend hours lying in a cat bed with her, grooming her and being groomed, but he still wasn't interested in being touched or petted by our volunteers. The big breakthrough happened when one of our volunteers saw Mel lying in a cat bed with Stella and decided to try again. She reached out her hand and this time Mel let her pet him. In fact, he wouldn't let her stop. Now, as you can see, Mel loves to be petted and has lost his fear of people. He prefers to stay up high on top of his cage or a cat tree, but he has also started to come up to volunteers who are seated on the floor to ask for pets. What a difference! Susie is a two-year-old female. She and her two kittens were trapped in Framingham. When she first came to the shelter, she was terrified, but not aggressive. If you tried to approach her, she would run frantically around her cage, searching for a way to escape. When we tried to handle her for vetting, she was so afraid that she trembled and urinated from fear. At first, our volunteers spent time simply talking to her without trying to approach her. Gradually, she became less fearful and we were able to reach our hands into her cage for feeding and cleaning without her running away. As you can see, she would even let us gently stroke her using a long-handled brush. We began leaving her cage slightly open so that Susie could come out and meet the other cats in the adoptable room with a volunteer supervising to ensure no issues. She never wanted to come out, but we noticed that several of the cats jumped up to visit her. Once we saw that she was comfortable with other cats, we left the room unsupervised, and that's when Susie decided to come out to explore the room. Now, she is much more comfortable with people and will allow us to pet her. Look at how much she loves being stroked and how relaxed she is. That slow blink at the end is her way of telling us that she trusts us and feels safe. Casey and Jessie are Susie's two kittens. They were about seven months old when they were trapped. Like their mom, they started out being very afraid of people. They would allow us to stroke them with a long-handled wand, but as you can see, they weren't completely comfortable. They were very difficult to handle because they would run around frantically and scratch and bite whenever we tried to reach into the cage to touch them. We saw some progress at the shelter as they seemed to learn how to play from other kittens in their room, but the big change happened when they moved to a foster home. Their foster mom, one of our longtime volunteers, confined them to a big room with all kinds of cat trees and toys and spent lots of time with them socializing. As you can see, Casey and Jesse have come a long way. Now, they both enjoy being petted even by people they don't know, as long as they are approached slowly. They are even comfortable with their foster mom's dog. 
Casey and Jesse will be ready to adopt together in the near future as they have lost their fear and are now comfortable with adults, older kids, and other animals. Cherry Berry was trapped together with her seven kittens when she was about four years old. When she first came to the shelter and was in a cage with her kittens, she was pettable. But once the kittens were weaned, she became very feral in her behavior. Whenever a volunteer came near, she would stare at them with eyes like saucers. If you approached too closely, she would hiss and back away. Our volunteers spent a lot of time working with her. At first, she would not accept any kind of petting, either by hand or with a brush or claw. But we kept at it patiently, coming back to her frequently to interact for just a few minutes each time. We tried dabbing a little baby food on the end of the claw to get her attention, and she definitely responded with interest. Over time, she became more comfortable and wouldn't hiss when approached. We could stroke her back with the claw, but if we tried rubbing under her chin, she would gently push the claw away, as if to say, no, I'm not ready yet. But then one day, we were giving a new volunteer a tour of the shelter and came around to Cherry Berry. We started to demonstrate how she would push away the claw if you tried to rub under her chin. But this time she accepted it and clearly enjoyed it very much. From that moment, she has been very happy to be stroked by different people using the long claw as long as they go slowly and preferably get down to her level. The next step is to get her comfortable with claws and wands that have shorter handles with the goal to eventually reach the point where she will enjoy being stroked by hand we're looking forward to reaching that goal. We hope you've enjoyed meeting just a few of our socialization program success stories. For more information about our organization and programs, or to make a donation, please check out our website at metrowesthumanesociety.org.